whenever we have an implicit function, it means the x's and y's are all mixed together. It's not in the form y equals f of x. We can still differentiate implicit functions with respect to x, and we do that by applying the chain rule. So here we've got a function. It's an implicit function, and we can differentiate it. So we're going to differentiate with respect to x. So if we differentiate 5x squared, we get 10 x we times by the power then take one off the power if we differentiate 2y squared so i'll write it up here 2y squared so we can think of this as the chain rule so we've got a bracket we differentiate around the bracket so multiply by the power take one off the power so differentiated around the bracket and then we times by the bracket differentiated and y differentiated is dy dx. So we get 4y dy dx. We can think of this as differentiating normally. So if I was differentiating with respect to y times by the power, take one off the power, 4y, and then we just put dy dx after it. So we differentiate it normally, and then we put dy dx after it. So 2y squared, we differentiate it normally and put dy dx after it. And y differentiated is dy dx. If we differentiated it with respect to y, we'd get 1. And then 1 times dy dx is dy dx. 11 differentiated is 0. Now, if we need to find dy dx, we need to rearrange this to make it dy dx equals. So if we take 10x off both sides, so we get 4y dy dx plus dy dx equals minus 10x. We can factorize out the dy dx, which leaves us with 4y plus 1. And divide both sides by 4y plus 1. So we've got minus 10x over 4y plus 1. And there we have dy dx. Okay, here we have another example. So let's just work along and differentiate each term with respect to x. So 2x squared differentiates to 4x. And now we've got 3xy, which is two terms multiplied together. So it's a product rule. So we can say u is 3x, v is y, which makes du dx. 3 and dv dx dy dx y differentiated is dy dx or y differentiated with respect to y is 1 multiplied by dy dx is dy dx so then we've got u dv dx so 3x dy dx plus v du dx 3y equals y squared differentiated with respect to x. So differentiate it normally, 2y, and put dy dx after it. So again, we're going to rearrange it to make it dy dx equals. So if we take 3x dy dx off both sides, so 4x plus 3y equals 2y dy dx minus 3x dy dx. Factorize out the dy dx. So dy dx on the outside, 2y minus 3x on the inside, and divide both sides by 2y minus 3x, we get dy dx equals 4x plus 3y over 2y minus 3x. And there's dy dx. Okay, here's another question. Um, you can pause the video, give this one a go. And then I'll go through the answer after. Okay, so we differentiate y normally and then put dy dx after it. So 3y squared dy dx. Here we've got a product rule. So we'll have 3x squared y. So we'll say u is 3x squared. v is y. So du dx is 6x. 
the VDX is the YDX. So U, the VDX, 3X squared, the YDX, plus V, the UDX, 6XY. Now 3X differentiated is 3, and it equals 0. So again, rearrange it to make it dy dx equals. So we'll take away 6xy, take away 3, which leaves us with 3y squared dy dx plus 3x squared dy dx equals minus 6y minus 3. Factorize out dy dx. So dy dx on the outside. 3y squared plus 3x squared on the inside and divide both sides by 3y squared plus 3x squared and that gives us our dy dx okay another one pause the video give it a go and then press play when you're ready to go through the answer so 3x squared differentiated is 6x. 2xy is a product rule. So u, u equals 2x. v equals y. So du dx is 2. And dv dx is dy dx. So we've got u dv dx, which is 2x dy dx plus v du dx, which is 2y, and that equals 2x differentiated is 2. 3y differentiated is 3, and then we put dy dx after it, because it's a y term. Then we're going to rearrange it to make it dy dx equals. So if we take the 2 off both sides, we get 6x plus 2x dy dx plus 2y minus 2 equals 3 dy dx. Now take 2x dy dx off both sides. So 6x plus 2y minus 2 equals 3 dy dx minus 2x dy dx. Factorize out the dy dx. So dy dx on the outside 3 minus 2x on the inside. And now we're going to divide both sides by 3 minus 2x. So dy dx is 6x plus 2y minus 2 over 3 minus 2x.